Right now in Africa, there's a, a massive outbreak going on of the Ebola, and they're now saying there's approximately 20,000 uh, individuals who've uh, contacted the disease and potentially will die. That's about the size of this uh, cemetery here, which has around 20, 21,000 souls. We, I've been watching this for several weeks now, and I was very disturbed when the Doctors Without Borders, head of Doctors Without Borders, was on the PBS program uh, about two weeks ago, and essentially said that they're they and another group are about the only people involved on the ground and that while many of donor countries have promised money and and technical support what they really need is people on the ground and so two weeks ago they were having great difficulty trying to control the outbreak because there just was enough personnel this Part of the problem in Africa is that people are scared. They're scared of health officials because that's where people go to die. And they're scared of, of a disease that seems to be killing. As soon as you get in contact, you, you die. And so people are hiding the fact that they're sick and dumping bodies on the street. That means that the, the body's not properly being handled and that promotes the spread of this disease. And this outbreak now is at 20,000. They're, they're talking now that it could reach 100,000 people before it's finished, and it's still not under control. And it very much reminds me to what happened in Hamilton uh, over uh, 150 years ago when the cholera outbreak hit Hamilton in August 1854. This was the second major outbreak. The first one happened in 1832. And it just struck the fear and terror in people because they really didn't know what was causing it. There wasn't a good medical model. These cemeteries are interesting because in, in really in good times you can build monuments, you can build uh, uh, reminders of your loved ones, but in times of crisis you end up actually going into mass graves. And right behind me is, uh, is one of those examples. Uh, the J section of uh, the Hamilton Cemetery is uh, reputed to be one of the resting places for cholera victims. And it's quite a big open field. And if you didn't know it, it you, wouldn't, you would wonder why is this such an uh, apparently unoccupied par uh, area of the cemetery. And that's because a lot of the cholera victims were buried there. There's another plot just on the other side which is where the uh, 1812 barracks used to be. And that's uh, and some cholera victims were buried there as well, and uh, because of the need to relocate them from a um, highway expansion of the 403 back in the uh, 50s, 50s or 60s. So. I'm very much fascinated that we're on this anniversary of the cholera outbreak in Hamilton and how there's very much, uh, there's very strong similarities between what is happening in uh, Africa as far as the fear and dread and not knowing what really is going on and what happened here in Hamilton 150 years ago. Okay, an update on the uh, Hermitage Ruin. What's happened is on Wednesday, General Issues Committee met and they approved the uh, Lori Ferguson's motion to protect the Hermitage. So now it goes to City Council next Wednesday. It happens in the evening at 5 o'clock. Uh, generally the council meetings are scheduled from 5 to 7, but it's hard to say what it'll be like this year because this is coming up just before election and City Council meetings tend to go along on a normal basis. So it may even go longer. The uh, the agenda hasn't been released as of Friday evening. It hasn't been released, so I don't know where the motion sits on the agenda. I'm hoping to find that as, out as soon as possible. I asked uh, some of my followers to subscribe to uh, or become members of the Facebook page on Save the Hermitage today, and that was really good. And one day there was an increase of 250 members. Save Hermitage. 
uh, Facebook page, which was really fantastic. And that, uh, because everyone's pointing to that as uh, the show that there's widespread uh, popularity uh, for the site and wide, widespread support. It, it lends credence to the argument that Ferguson's making and then other heritage advocates are trying to make and they need that reinforcement. If you, if you see this, I really encourage you to uh, uh, become a member of that Facebook page, The Hermitage, uh, and, and please pass on the message to your Facebook followers and Twitter followers or, and Tumblr followers and YouTube followers that if they could go to Save the Hermitage Facebook page and become a member, that would be great because it really, the simple act of becoming a member shows that you're interested and that the advocates who are speaking on behalf of the Hermitage can speak on your behalf and use that as evidence that there's widespread support of the Hermitage in Hamilton. Uh, one of the changes uh, that's developed is uh, there's, uh, it's now becoming apparent that all they're planning to do is save the three walls of the Hermitage building and that the rear walls and then the outline buildings which uh, have variations in height, none, none of them are completely intact, uh, will be leveled to the ground level and the stones from those structures will be used to uh, the, rebuilt the walls and what they'll be doing is with the three existing walls they're going to tear the, the, of the hermitage, they're going to take them all down, they're going to number them, take them all down, uh, rebuild the, the walls with new mortar, put a firm foundation underneath, a, uh, probably a cement foundation so there won't be any tilting or, or sag from the ground and then rebuild the whole thing and make it a little look a little bit more like what it used to be and I hopefully that may maintains the authenticity of the building itself. I'm a little, I have mixed feelings about about them uh, altering the other buildings on the land. Uh, it is a historical landscape as far as I'm concerned and those buildings are part of the story of the Hermitage and tell a story about what it was like to be in the mid 1850s. About the, So thanks very much and I hope to this time next week have very good news for you on the to save the Hermitage. Thanks again and please spread the word about joining the the Facebook page Save the Hermitage. Uh, your, your, your simple joining has real significance for our efforts to try to save it. Thanks very much. Take Take care. Bye.